Thank you. So uh, what's the biggest problem in the world today? It's not really that you need a prettier online bank or a new investment service. The biggest problem today is that we are losing thousands and thousands of jobs due to small companies going bankrupt because the customers don't pay them. Uh, at TradeShift, this is something we care a lot about. Uh, we have launched uh, a solution to, to that problem seen from our perspective. But first, a little bit about TradeShift. TradeShift is an online business-to-business -business network. It's sort of like the new variant of the old invoicing networks. You can connect with your customers, with your suppliers, just like you do on Facebook or LinkedIn. You can do transactions, payments, invoices, purchase orders. And it's completely free, both for small and large companies. We have uh, approaching more than 100,000 companies in the network. Um, and as you can see, you have a network where you can search, you can find new customers, you can find new suppliers, and you can engage. In this case, I just got a new customer, big company. Uh, I'm a small company. I'm really eager to get my money, so I'll send them an invoice. Um, and we spent hours, on, uh, many, many hours, on making the user interface extremely easy to use, extremely easy for a small company to, to interact with. So in this case, I'll just fill out, um, I'll try to get my goods here, my office chairs I deliver to the customer. And this invoice will not be delivered before my customer has accepted my connection. It's real-time connectivity on both sides. Uh, TradeShift is also really powerful in the way it remembers stuff I've done before. So if I filled out some of this information, it will remember it, like my bank information and so on. And it's, of course, completely integrated to the different payment solution. In this case, uh, I choose I can either get my money uh, using a bank transfer or PayPal. When I sent the invoice, it's an XML document sent directly to the big customer who's on our network. So this is seamlessly integrated into the accounting system on the other side. And why this is great is because I can get a real-time answer. So uh, being a small business, I'll now cross my fingers and hope my customer, he will accept my invoice. Uh, and in this case, he's actually at a, this is a great financial conference, so you don't have time for it. So uh, I will do what small businesses normally do, and this is really the only option, and that is to beg. So uh, please pay me now. Uh, I need those money or I'll, I won't have a job. So let's see what happens. Hopefully he will listen to uh, and be merciful. Um, yeah, okay, great. So he's invited me to something called instant payments. Uh, and anything that has the word instant and payments, I'm, I'm quite interested in as a small business. So, uh, Jebe, can you please tell me what is this instant payment thing? Absolutely. So, like Christian mentioned, uh, on TradeShift, we are approaching 100,000 companies on the platform. These are companies that are sending and receiving invoices, changing status, statuses on when it's accepted, rejected, and so forth. When we talk to these guys, there's this one common problem that always remain, and that's the access to capital. These guys being small and medium-sized companies, they are not only struggling with the banks that are cutting credit lines or increasing their pricing, they're actually also fighting their customers, especially the big customers. If you look at it on an average in Europe, average payment terms have moved from 40 days to almost 60 days. And think a little bit about that, because it doesn't make sense at all. We are talking about big buyers out here. They actually do have access to funding. They can actually fund themselves typically pretty cheap. And what they're essentially doing by extending their payment terms is pushing debt to their suppliers that don't have any funding alternatives, or at least very uh, expensive ones. Holistically, that's really value destruction. And not only value destruction, it's actually also destroying the companies out there. We believe with the data we have on the platform that proprietary to trade ship, no banks uh, have it, no credit institution have it, we can create something different. And we launched instant payments. I'm now the, uh, the big buyer. This is my network. I can actually choose uh, different suppliers from my network and invite that into the instant payment program. I here uh, invite the small company. Um, there installs a, a app in, in my trade shift uh, functionality. I can see a list of the suppliers that I have previously invited to the program. And this is different because I actually, as a buyer, have the opportunity between funding the early payments myself out of my own balance sheet, if I want to, to, to commit some cash and earn some nice returns on that, or use a third party, which could be a bank. So in this case, I actually choose to use my own balance sheet. I do have excess cash. I can define the discount rate myself. Let's assume 6.37%. Uh, and then actually, I allow my suppliers to get their money early. I can also go into to my dashboard, my overview. Here I can see my performance on onboarding my suppliers to the instant payment program, how many have actually started to use it, how much capital am I committing right now, what's the average interest rate I'm earning on that. 
So really, really easy, uh, great overview. I can define it if you scroll down, Christian. I can actually tailor uh, my dashboard myself. So let's move on to the supplier side again. And uh, the supplier have now received an invite in his email to join this program. He clicks on, on the invite, takes him directly into his, his platform. He can activate an app. By doing that, it allows him to claim his money early with instant payments. If you uh, look uh, on the overview, he can actually see a list of those invoices that previously have been made available for him. And, and up in the top pops up this new invoice that's right now available for funding. He has the, all the information that he needs. He can see exactly what's the fee of claiming uh, my money now. In this case, uh, about 32 euros. But then he would get his money 28 days before. That's a no-brainer. He wants that. He clicks on the uh, request in instant payment. And that actually feeds into either the customer IT system or the bank IT system. And that triggers an early payment to the supplier. It's really as easy as that. So great news. I got my money. Uh, I'm a happy supplier. I will uh, live a little longer. And of course, you're thinking uh, stuff like this has been available before, stuff like supply chain financing and so on. But the real news here is it's available to the whole supply chain. We are running programs with some of our biggest customers involving 100,000 suppliers uh, that will all get an invite to these kind of programs. And since we can switch between both buyer-funded models and third-party funded models, and since we have a whole new insight into the transactions, if you think about it, when a small business goes to the bank today, they can either choose between very expensive credit or no credit. With this, you can actually see that the other side has accepted the invoice, and you suddenly have the risk on the other side. So I think with the, this solution, we are actually solving one of the real problems in the world today, which is access to cash and the cost of money for small business. And if you think that's great, I think you should uh, go ahead and vote for a trade shift uh, today. Thank you.